Happening today, SMU will break ground on their new football stadium improvement project. University leaders say they're the new three-level facility at the south end of Ford Stadium will provide SMU student-athletes with dedicated spaces for development and team building. Meantime, the man who coached SMU just last season has taken TCU on a ride it will never forget. When they meet K-State tomorrow at AT&T Stadium, the Horn Frogs will try to take that next step. This week, head coach Sonny Dykes kind enough to sit down and discuss this journey and what a journey it's been. Usually by the end of the year, you start to get a little tired, a little worn out. And you're kind of like, well, you know, I'm going to look forward to the end of all this. And I certainly don't feel that way with this team. It's kind of one of those years you really don't want it to come to an end. There's no way Sonny Dykes wants this year to end. No one in DFW does. Because in his first year at TCU, the Frogs are a win away from a likely first ever berth in the college football playoffs and a trip to a national semifinal game on New Year's Eve. Yes, what Sonny Dykes has done with this team has been remarkable, but he refuses to take the credit. How do you stay so grounded in the sense that the spotlight is clearly on you? When you win, it's, I've always believed it's because of the players, and when you lose, it's because of the coaches. <laughs> and I think that's just the way it is. And, and so it's, it's really a, a credit to our players and the way that they have performed and their, again, preparation and confidence and belief in each other. And, you know, these guys play hard and they enjoy it and they play for each other and you know I just try to not to screw it up too bad <laughs> that, that's kind of my job if you spend just a few minutes with Dykes you'll realize he's not a look at me type of guy but there's no denying how people look at him now especially in the Fort Worth area as opposed to when he was first introduced as TCU head coach just over a year ago every Saturday we walk out and the, the, the fans have been incredible I know, you know, I'll take my kids to school on Monday morning and I stop at Starbucks and get coffee. And, uh, you know, nobody knew who I was about the first five weeks of the season. Now people know who I am at Starbucks. <laughs> and that's been a little bit of a challenge. Uh, but you know how it is. I mean, that's just kind of the way this stuff goes. And it's been, uh, it's been exciting. Right? While the nation finds itself in a purple haze with what's going on, Dykes won't allow himself to be because, as he points out, he's done a good coaching job at other institutions. And while it's never amounted to a national title, and maybe this year will, that will never be how he measures himself. Make sure that people leave our program better than they came in. And, and at the end of the day, if our guys can consistently do that, and they can be better men and better fathers and better husbands, um, and better in the community and serve others uh, once they, they leave TCU, then we've done our job. The standard Sonny Dyke sets for himself is the same standard his father held for himself. Spike Dykes, who passed away in 2017, but not before a career that included at one time being the all-time winningest head football coach in the history of Texas Tech. Yeah, I had an opportunity, you know, when he passed to see the impact he made on, on players and how meaningful it really was. I, I think sometimes as coaches, you know, everybody talks about you know, the impact they make and how they try to make a difference and all those things. Um, but it was really pretty eye-opening to me just how much he meant to those, those former players of his. Coach, what was the one piece of advice your father imparted on you in your coaching career? And what do you think his advice would be to you right now? You know, the biggest thing I think is just to understand, you know, that, that everybody's got a different perspective. You know, the one thing he used to tell me all the time was don't judge anybody until you walk a mile in their shoes. And that was the one thing that he really believed in. And I think the thing that he would probably tell me is just enjoy it. You know what I mean? Enjoy the game. We've worked hard to get there. Um, you know, it's a great opportunity. It's a reward for the players. And just go out there and do your best and, and take it all in and enjoy it. And take care of Kansas State at AT&T Stadium tomorrow. Sonny Dykes has been named Big 12 Coach of the Year. His father, Spike, won the award in 1996. First father-son duo to accomplish that. Wow. Now, Brooke, I got to explain. All right, <laughs> yeah. we teased uh, TCU could become the first team from the state of Texas to do something. And a lot of people are like, wait a minute. You talking about winning the national title? No, not talking about winning the national title. I'm talking about the college football yeah. playoff format that started in 2014. Since then, no team from the state of Texas has been a part of it. 
TCU with a win tomorrow will likely get a berth in a national semifinal game on New Year's Eve. That would be history for the Horn Frogs. Yeah, we know a couple people were scratching their heads about that one, so it's a That's good explanation. The explanation. And I think TCU is going to pull it off. I have good feelings about all purple this. Purple rain, That's, all purple. I like that.